when I was a high school student. I didn't like people who are living in Japanese society. People are working hard to make money. So Japanese people are called、uh, economic animals. <laughs> And I didn't like that. So, first motivation to become a Buddhist practitioner is escaping from that way of life. At least, first、uh, several or almost ten years in my practice, I, I was closed. I don't want to live in the way people lived. But I think around I became 30 years old. I feel now I'm enough. I escaped enough. My escape is completed. <laughs> so I could open myself and try to offer something to the people who are living in that world. I was practicing, studying, and practicing Buddha's teaching. The basic motivation I had when I started to study Buddhism is still you know, functioning. And it disturbed me to be free from you know, myself. So I don't like the、uh, way people live in the society. My practice was kind of escaping and isolating. But by seeing the interconnectedness, I think I could open myself and try to offer anything I can offer. So it is important. That is a transformation. When I was a teenager, I tried to find an alternative way of life. And Buddhism was the answer to me. You know, I think Shakyamuni had the same problem, and Dogen also. Almost all those religious or spiritual people didn't like something. In the way you know, they live in the society and try to find、uh, some alternative way of life. I think it's really important to find the problem. And in the case of Buddhism, life is suffering, is a base problem. <laughs> so, how can we flee from the suffering? For Shakyamuni, that is a basic、uh, problem he wants to find the answer. Feeling and sentiment are. I think almost always influenced by our self centeredness. I am the center of the world. <laughs> so, fat is good for me. And fat、uh, makes me feel better. And fat makes my life more important than others' life. That is a problem we have, not only in this modern time, but from the time of Shakyamuni Buddha. He found that problem. s So, to restore the healthy way of life, I think it's important for us Buddhists to study what Buddha taught and what was taught in the history of Buddhism and how we can find an alternative way of life. It's important to understand that the way we live here and now in this society is not the only possible way of life. There are some alternative ways of life and we can make change. I think that is very important teaching. Not only in Buddhism, there are you know, many different spiritual traditions. There are some wisdom within each and every tradition. And I think this is one of the things we can offer from Buddhist tradition to the people living in this modern world. This idea of you know, interconnectedness, Buddhist teaching of interconnectedness, came from certain traditions, certain lineage. Even people who don't think they are Buddhist, they can see that reality without belief in the doctrine. When our eyes are open and see deeply how we live within this universe, Being supported by all things and people, we can find it important to find that reality and to live in harmonious way with all, all other people and things.